Do, 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 do. Oh, it's Matrix! E. It, maybe. Creative logo. I like that. Oh, God, that's a pile of bodies. Oh, okay. What have we gotten ourselves into here? Oh, Jesus, it is Matrix C. Okay. Okay, let's go. Ellis, Idaho, where am I? Caliban, a dwarf planet on the outer rim. Most call it Gena, if they call it anything at all. This, Admiral, is a top secret cloning facility for the Imperial forces, the one and only of its kind. I am Caliban, its Omni Guardian. I don't understand. You have died, Admiral, or to put it another way, the true version of you has died. You are his clone, identical to the original Ellis Idaho in every possible way, with some minor differences. When did I... When did Admiral Idaho die? How? Unfortunately, I don't know the details of my clone's lives, as interesting as they may be. Extraneous to my directive, I believe. Which leads me to why I've awoken you. You must be curious, after all. I need your help. A machine asking for my help? Now I truly feel strange. Not just a machine, Admiral, an Omni. Short for Omni Mechanical Neo N Intelligence. Emperor Oberon invented us. Now your kind relies on us for just about everything. I'll come right out with it. I believe the Empire is in danger. In danger? What the name of Oberon are you talking about? Once every four years, under the most secretive protocols, I receive a single transmission from Elysium, our capital. Those transmissions stopped arriving. So you send a transmission yourself. I don't see the problem. That's just it. I can't. This facility was built in such a way to prevent it from initialize, initializing contact with the Empire to help keep it a secret. Something is wrong, I am certain of it, and I've awoken you so that we can fly you fly out of here in an Omega-class battleship, no less, and see for ourselves. Me? I believe you'll find my intelligence indispensable for our mission, Avril. I don't have your kind's limitations. If you're so smart, what do you need me for? Why don't you command the battleship? Because of Oberon's Rubicon. It prohibits Omnis from commanding battleships. War is a human prerogative. Also, since I can assume the clones here are, for the best of, are the best of the best, that would make you the best Imperial Admiral to ever exist. I'd say you're perfect for the job. I'll do it, machine. For Oberon and for the Empire, it's my duty as an Imperial Admiral. Excellent. Now just one more thing. Standard operating procedure requires I ask. Can you recall any of your emotional memories? 
Emotional memories. Any memory linked to a strong emotion like love or hate, these memories, because of their complex neural pathways, will be a bit trickier for you to access, I'm afraid. I'm not sure. And if you would do me the honor of trying to recall one, any emotional memory will do. Oh, is this like a background? I... I can't. So much is blurred, broken apart. Don't worry, Admiral. Perfectly normal for this stage. You'll find rational memories, on the other hand, those linked to Idaho's training and combat experience, almost immediately accessible. Just ask if you need a refresher. Lastly, and this is important, if these emotional memories return, rather, when they return, you must tell me immediately. It's important for your safety. Yes, your safety. Do you understand? I understand. Perfect. Now let's wake up the rest of the crew, shall we? We don't have a moment to waste, and please, Admiral. What is it now, machine? Call me Caliban. Overwhelmed! Um... What? Oh. Oh, dude. Okay, okay. Um. Guess this. Whoa. Um. Dude, this game is gigantic. Uh. <laughs> start the game. Oh, I have to I have to pick one. Okay. Um Uh one reload time 15. Oh, I have to pick two. Okay. Uh There we go. We get advanced reload and emergency repair. What does this mean? Oh, is that their They're both spies? Maybe I maybe I want to spy in someone else. Um How about a spy and a scientist? Yeah. Let's do that. <sighs> These are the sectors of the Outer Rim Admiral, the farthest sectors from the capital that there are. If there ever was a wasteland in the Empire, this would be it. Strange, I'm not picking up other Omnis. Even out here, I should be picking up dozens of them. Let's try not to overreact, machine. It's probably nothing. The Empire's run flawlessly for how many years now? 700. And it will do so for hundreds more. Now, come on. Let's take a look around. Okay. I know a Borg cube when I see one. What do we have here, Lieutenant? It appears to be some kind of cube-like refinery, sir. It's a Neo-N hypercube, Omnitech for the simultaneous harvesting and refining of neutrinium from nearby stars. Interesting, if not downright bizarre. This cube isn't connected to the fold now. How could that be, and why aren't there hypercube Omnis trying to reconnect it as I speak? Ask Caliban for an explanation. Certain things are still blurry to me, machine. What do you want to know, Admiral? What's the fold net? As you probably recall by now, Admiral, the Omnis have invented and managed Imperial tech for more or less since the dawn of the Empire. The fold net, arguably our greatest achievement, forms the backbone of the Empire. 
Think of it as a global galactic network allowing instant data and or matter transmissions through its numerous interconnected folders and beacons. Matter? Without the constant vigilance and management of Foldnet Omnis, none of it would be possible and humanity would live in a fragmented, chaotic darkness. The music's kind of loud. Oh, okay, let me turn that down. Uh, I'll turn both down a little bit and see how that is. I don't think we need that dialogue typewriter effect. Um... Okay. okay. Send a small team to investigate the cube. Captain Lynch, form a small squadron. Fly around the cube and tell me what you see. On it, on it, sir! Sir, the Omni was right. The cube isn't connected to the fold net, and by the looks of it, hasn't been connected in years. Just a guess here, but I'd say it looks like it's been disconnected for maybe 10, 15 years? 10 or 15 years? At least, sir. Could the Empire have, I don't know, disconnected it on purpose? I don't think so, Admiral. I'm not a cube omni myself, but cubes are complex tech needing constant supervision. Disconnecting it would make that all but impossible. And the Neo N levels? Empty, sir. There's no Neo N here whatsoever. Looks like whoever came before us took all of it. We won't be fueling here. The reserves might be empty, but there still could be some residual Neo N coursing through the cube. Should be able to unlock the final restraint so that we can scavenge the leftovers. It won't be much, but it will help our efforts. There, we should be able to scavenge Neo N fuel here now, but that'll, that'll be the last of it in this cube. All sons have a Neo N cube where you have a chance to scavenge some precious leftover fuel. This game does not hold your hand, does it? Uh, here? Whoa. Sir, battleship, 12 o'clock. What kind of battleship, Lieutenant? Couldn't say, sir. I've never seen a ship like this in all my service. Incoming transmission. An Imperial battleship made from Telos tech. My mouth is watering. This grub. This is Admiral Idaho, the Imperial Fleet. Stand down, Captain. This is an Imperial Sector you find yourself in. Imperial Sector? That's funny, Imp. You can deploy your officers during fights. Some officers have special abilities that can boost specific systems. All officers can repair critical effects sustained by any system. There are three systems, Squadron, Weapon, and Hull, so be careful you deploy your officers. Squadrons are essential to protect your battleship and destroy the enemy. To deploy your squadrons, click on the plus sign and empty dock. For now, your second dock will be locked until you have learned the basics. Use your weapons to gain decisive advantage on the battlefield. Weapons can be deployed by clicking the plus sign. Your neurocom also accelerates your thoughts to a point where time appears totally still. Nice. All right, so first we'll deploy... A fighter? Um, I, sure. Put you there. Cool. Um, fighters damage drones. Drones damage frigates. Frigates damage fighters. Okay. You are deploying a drone. So my fighter could defeat your drone. Cool. Weapons. Pierce laser. And what do you do again? Heal all squadrons adjacent to the hull integrity system cell. Let's put you in the squadron. What does that five mean? Oh, is that my DPS? Yeah, five DPS. Can I attack you? Get him. Nice. Do, do 
Do I attack you? Your weapon is finished charging and is ready to fire. Click on it and choose a target on the battlefield to deal damage to your enemies. Uh, boom. Cube! Was that thing? I don't know, Lieutenant, and I'm not sure I want to either. How do I remove this guy? There we go. You want weapons. Cool. What's this thing? Nothing? Oh, a satellite. Oh, it's nothing. Okay. Uh, look at this. All right, next up is you. Oh, Noctra, cool, man. Thanks, bud. Um, Great. An Imperial outpost, sir, it seems abandoned. Any heat signatures? Not a single one. Seems empty of all human life. What about an omnipresence? There should be here, they should be here managing the station, no? They should, and no, I'm not detecting any. This is getting stranger and stranger. What about this outpost? Seems to be just your run-of-the-mill Imperial Outpost, Admiral. There are outposts all over Imperial sectors. With the capital Elysium so far away, they help keep the peace and maintain order. You must show your military might so they don't have to use it, I believe is the thinking. But there's definitely no military might here. Try to make contact. Nope. Send a team. Sir, the outpost is empty. Seemed it was abandoned years ago. If I had to guess, probably around the time that hypercube back there was disconnected from the fold net. Looks like someone came here, took the most valuable omni parts, neo and encapsulators, positronic chips, and left the rest behind. Scavenging omni parts? Who would do such a thing? It's a capital offense. One the pragma executive you for. One the pragma execute you for. Hold on, sir. Getting a transmission. My commandos have found something. An omni intact from top to bottom. Is it functional? That's a negative, sir. It was in a lower level. Guess whoever was here before us didn't go down that far. Might have needed high clearance to get in. Admiral, I can examine it from here if the captain plugs the data pad into the exosock. Strange. Its exoframe is perfectly intact. It has plenty of Neo-N, and its positronic chip seems to be in place. It should be up and running. I don't get it. <clears throat> Any idea when it shut down? According to its chip, 20 years ago. Roughly the time the hyperspace cube was unlinked. Hypercube was unlinked from the fold net. Explanations. Uh, can you reactivate? Unfortunately, no. Only Omni owners can do that. Besides, this Omni isn't just in sleep mode. It's been shut down. What's the positronic chip? Actually, no. Your kind invented the positronic chip, as incredible as that is, specifically Emperor Oberon. The positronic chip serves several purposes. One, it contains the Rubicon, and two, it dictates Omni functionality. My functions are specific to Gehenna, and as such, are different from the functions of other Omnis, whether they're Imperial Omni, Outpost Omnis, like the Omni here. Older Omnis, Cube Omnis, Medical Omnis, Teacher Omnis, or the hundreds of other kinds of Omnis that exist in the Empire. Lastly, the Positronic Chip gives Omnis quantum computing capabilities. It's what allows us to be so much smarter than you. Positronic Chips are produced and distributed near Elysium. Of course, it's by design so that Oberon can closely monitor the Positronic Quota. Simply put, without a Positronic Chip, an Omni is little more than its exoframe. Hmm. Okay, machine, I'll admit it. Something is wrong, at least in the Outer Rim. <clears throat> I don't want to further worry you, but our battleship's heuristics are detecting an anomaly at our next destination. Okay. <laughs> Zayde, is Co-Plane the Surge 2 tomorrow all day? 
Yes, absolutely. Yep. Kairos said, after earlier, I thought you would like to know I've signed up for some therapy. Thank you, everybody that helped. Kairos, that is awesome, my dude. Great to hear, man. Great to hear. That is awesome. Uh, Shaylin with the three years. Pithlet with the two years. Thank you for that, my man. Cavalaxis with the two-year double sub. Thank you, my dude. Uh, we also have Mogul, the big bad bat. Uh, Feb93 and Nishok as well with the one year. Thank you, thank you. Ginginator, Salmon Snake. Thank you, buddy. Uh, Sprinter, the real Arum Serenity. Thank you for that. And DeCapo. Really appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> nice highlighted message there, the real. Uh, Cray Vita says, Roses are red, violets are blue. I spent some good vibes on this message for you. Thanks, dude. Uh, King with the 100 cheer. Nice. I like it. Uh, also, Paloso gifting a sub to G Trockle. Thank you so much for that, dudes. Really, really appreciate it. Thank you. Okay. Oh, another one. It's one of those creatures again, sir. Maybe this one will be friendly? <laughs> no. Nice ship you got there. I'm going to enjoy scrapping it over your dead bodies. Oh, thanks, Gruck. How charming. You're going down. Whatever you are. Each basic squadron type, frigates, drones, and fighters, is best suited to fight against a particular squadron, providing it with a massive damage bonus if properly matched. Be sure to find out a unit's strength and weaknesses before deploying it. Okay, he's deploying fighters. So we are going to deploy... Drones. Great. Okay. Right? No. Frigates have massive, a massive damage bonus versus uh, frigate. Okay, great. Um, awesome. And then our weapon selected already. Uh, I think everything's good, right? Let's go. Yeah, get him, boys. Woo! Oh, we damaged your weapon. Nice. Rewards a new fighter. Hey, cool. So we had yet another brush with death. At least our scanner detected the anomaly this time. Tell me more about these anomalies, machine. Anomalies are destinations with a higher than normal probability of being very negative or very positive. Unfortunately, we won't know what, to out, what kind of outcome to expect until we arrive at the signals, the source's signal. You could say investigating anomaly signals is a bit of a gamble. Tell me more. Good to know. Oh, there's gotta be someone around here who can tell us what's going on. Encountered anomaly, main mission. Well, it's not really an anomaly if it's the main mission. Um, okay, I like this little, like, blow-up effect. This is pretty badass. Uh, ooh, ejected cryopod. What are these? Fuel, scrap, commandos. Trained soldiers that can be sent on expeditions or used during events. Ooh. Okay. Cool. Nice planet. There appear to be a small colony on this planet, Admiral. Maybe we can finally get some answers. Also detecting a ground signal, roughly a thousand kilometers from the colony. Could be worth investigating with an expedition. Hello, is anyone there? This is Admiral Ellis Idaho of the Imperial Fleet. I'm Tiggin Bowie, leader of my small colony. What can we do for you, Admiral? If it's scrap you're looking for, I'm sorry, but we have none to spare. Scrap? We're here to find out what's going on in these sectors. 
I don't understand. We've yet to encounter a single, single active Omni and two enemy battleships have engaged us. Is this some sort of sick joke, Admiral? The Omni's shut down. Nani. Impossible. The Omni's shut down in our sectors. And when they did, so did all of their tech. It can't run without them. How? When? I have no idea how it happened. I'm not sure even Oberon does. It's truly the great mystery of our time. As for when, 20 years ago. We relied on them for everything. Food, medicine, weather. It's hard to give accurate numbers, but maybe 75% of the population here died in the first five years alone. Now, who knows how many of us are left? 10%? Less? How can you help their planet and the people of this sector? But feeding the scrappers would be a nice start. Things would look a whole lot better with those scum out of the way. The scrappers? Don't tell me you don't know about them either. It's like you've been living this entire time on an uninhabited planet on the edge of the outer rim. The scrappers are a group of hideous, cancerous scavengers who collect leftover Omnitech and neo N. When the Omni shut down, causing the Foldnet to collapse in our sectors, they were the ones who took over in the chaos. They're not the only rotten apples around here with your pirates and your occasional crazy civilian, but they're definitely the worst. They defeated the Imperial ships? How? Telos Tech is second to none. Imperial captains are trained at the Academy. True, but the scrapper battleships wore them down. Picked off here and there, another there. It was a war of attrition. Plus, the Empire couldn't send reinforcements. Not with our folder down, you see. I hate to say it, but I think it's just a matter of time before they make slaves of us all. But even if you beat them, even if you beat Mother, it won't change anything. The way we're going 10, 15 years from now, with all the hardships we're experiencing, will be gone. All of us. Unless. Unless what? Unless you can reactivate the folding. You somehow reactivate the Omnis, turn them back on again. The ones that haven't been scavenged for their parts, that is. That's the only way to save us. Hmm. How can we turn it back on? You're asking the wrong guy, I'm afraid. As I said, no one knows who or what shut them down. You have to solve that mystery on your own. And once you do, you'll still have to find a way to turn them back on, which might be another thing altogether. Where should we start? I hate to say it, but Mother is probably your best bet. I mean, she benefited the most from them shutting down in this cluster, didn't she? Mother? Then again, there are a lot of theories out there about who or what is responsible for this. Oh. Really, Lozne? The Long Dark Episode 3 is releasing on October 22nd? The day before Outer Worlds? Well, I guess we won't be playing that then, will we? That is, unless we can beat it in a day. Um, well, hopefully we can. We'll see. Maybe, maybe we can get early access or something. We'll, we'll, we'll poke around. We'll poke around. Uh, ask about Mother. You really don't want to know, Admiral. For some reason, that's what they call her. Their leader. Mother. Mom. Mommy. It's all very upsetting. From what I gather, she was the one who started the Scrappers, fostering a punk nihilistic scavenging philosophy among their sordid ranks. And who makes up her ranks? Former Imperial prisoners, I think. The worst of the worst. When the Omni shut down, the prisoners escaped from their Omni-run prisons and psychiatric stations. Mother loves her tech, especially House Telos tech, like the battleship you have. And she and her boils, who work for her, will kill you for it and enjoy doing it too. Damn. Wait, wait, wait. She's been terrorizing these sectors for years now, enslaving men and women to bolster her numbers and make them into her playthings and baby makers? You don't want to know who they are. But since you asked, the playthings are mother's sex slaves, and the baby makers are, you know, what she uses to make babies. Make babies? Scrappers often die young from their neo and tumors, as they should. Thank Oberon for that. Mother uses her baby makers to keep the scrappers' numbers growing. She supposedly has baby making stations spread throughout the sectors. Ew. Okay. Let's go fight stuff. Um, uh, Scrap, I'm assuming, is like currency, right? Let me just go through this real quick. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Scrap is currency. Okay, cool. Uh -huh. It can collect its broken down parts and sell them. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. Okay. I promise in the name of Oberon, we'll take care of these scrappers and get your Omnis up and running again. You say that, Admiral, but you'll fail, or you'll stop trying sooner or later. Or maybe worse, you'll die. But take this Neo in, Admiral. We have plenty at the moment. I have a feeling you'll need it. And like I said, I know it's not the bravest thing to do, but it's best if you hide. You'll live longer that way. 
Ooh.